Hi, this is a review of the Chapter 6 Memory PowerPoint project. I want to make sure everybody understands it in case you miss the overall guidelines for the project in class. Uh, the presentation is from the standpoint of a memory manufacturer. You're going to represent one of these that are listed on here, ADATA, Axiom, Corsair, Crucial, G-Skill, uh, HyperX, Kingston, any of those that are ma major memory manufacturers. And you're going to present two sticks from that one company. So you're going to do one company background in the presentation. You're going to do um, two sticks different sticks of RAM for two different motherboards. So that's going to be based on the original motherboard presentations you gave and the selection you made in the choices themselves. So in the choices you might have chosen the fastest home and the cheapest gamer. That means the fastest memory available for your home motherboard that you presented on back in uh, chapter four and the cheapest memory for the gamer motherboard that you presented on back in chapter four. So all those go back to the chapter four. Now when you do this project, what I would do would be to make a copy of the chapter four presentation to begin with, rename it your memory presentation, because the first thing you have to do is talk about that home motherboard, that business gamer board, or that um, business motherboard. Uh, and talk about what memory that it takes. So you're going to cover the motherboard first and then the memory that you're purchasing for that particular motherboard. So when you do the presentation, I know it says PowerPoint, Google Slides, which, whatever you particularly use, you're going to introduce and give a background of the company just like you did when we did the CPUs and we did the motherboards, but this time you're representing one of those memory manufacturers. Then you're going to give us the motherboard specifications and it's really important that you review the rubric on that, we're going to take a look at it in just a second to make sure you understand what background you're going to give on the motherboard itself. But in general, it's what's the make and model of the motherboard. It's a gigabyte whatever with a picture of the motherboard with a description or the specifics for what memory that motherboard can take. Not from Newegg, but from Gigabyte or Asus or wherever. Uh, the Newegg description never tells it all, so get the information from the motherboard manufacturer like you should have done back in chapter four. Then you're gonna say, and for this motherboard, I brought you today the G-Skill blood. You're gonna go over the, this information on the memory, the brand and model, the type and generation, it's DDR5, whatever, the speed of, the, of it, whether it's ECC or non-ECC, most of you should be non-ECC. It should also be a DIM, not a SODIM, because we know those are for laptops. How many channels this particular selection will support? If you only have one stick, it's not gonna support dual channel, even if your motherboard does. Um, if you do four sticks, you could get up to quad channel, depending on what your motherboard supports. What the cast latency is, what the voltage of the RAM is, and it doesn't say it on here, but it is on the rubric, um, what the warranty of the RAM is. You're not going to find the warranty on Newegg. Newegg's all going to say 30-day warranty. You need to go to the mother or the memory manufacturer to get what the actual warranty is for that stick of RAM. If it's good RAM, it'll be lifetime or limited lifetime, depending on the company and the, the fine print. But we want to know that because you don't want to end up buying RAM that won't be supported later down the line. Then the next thing on the, the RAM itself, it shows, says down here how much it costs, where we can get it from at that price, include a link, but I would also include a screen capture so that if the website's down or uh, it's not available anymore, you've got a good screen capture in your presentation of that particular RAM at that particular price. Uh, and then obviously always finish with a works cited. Uh, note, home PCs get eight gig and only eight gig not two sticks of eight gig, that's one stick of eight or two sticks of four, but only eight gig, business PCs 16 gig and gamer PCs 32 gig. You should be doing the best for your system. So if I was getting a gamer, I would not put in a 32 gig stick. I'd put in two 16s because I didn't get my dual channel. You're not gonna lose points for that, but you should understand what you're trying to actually buy for. Um, if it's got four slots, 216 is a great thing because you can always upgrade it to 64 with another 216. 
um, but 132 doesn't make sense. Should have no more or no less, that's how much RAM it should have. Uh, down here, there's an example of a PowerPoint presentation on memory that you can look at. And then here's the rubric at the bottom. And down below, you should be submitting a link to either the PowerPoint itself or a link to the PowerPoint presentation, whichever one. Now, here's the rubric to look at real quick. And I'm going to zoom in just really on the motherboard specifications and the memory specifications so we can make sure we can read that there. So on the motherboard, make and model a picture of it, the generation and speed of RAM that's supported, and the maximum amount of RAM. Now, along with that, you should be saying whether it takes ECC or non-ECC RAM. That's part of the type of RAM that's supported there on your motherboard. And then in the memory specifications themselves, how much RAM is it? What generation of the RAM is it? Obviously, the make and model of the RAM, I don't have that on this list in the, in the rubric, but you're trying to sell it to us, so you got to tell us that. Whether it's got ECC, whether that EC is parity or non-parity uh, RAM, most of you are not going to have those on there, so you don't have to have that information if it's not server RAM anyway, and that always um, kind of uh, slows people down trying to find that. If it's non-ECC, it's not going to have the information. Whether your kit supports tri, dual, single, or quad channel, what the cast latency is, and then finally what the warranty is. That's the information you need to have. And then the last thing down there is the cost. There has to be, has to be defined with a link to where it can be purchased. And again, I would take a screen capture of that just in case Newegg doesn't open or the site you have doesn't have it available anymore. That's it. It's it's a one hour put together presentation. If you start with your motherboard one, use those slides you've already made. And then now all I have to do is find the memory and make a slide of that memory information. And again, there's an example presentation down below this on the page. And that's it for your memory um, research project.